найти Enter Dead Gate, Артём. Hey, how long are you going to keep me waiting? Don't be afraid. Come on, Artём. They might reconsider. from the train. Yep, that's him. Look at that gear. The Baron called him over. Wants to talk. Talk? What's there to talk with him about? The Baron called him over because he had a topic, I guess. Damn, there's too many of them to count. Rakers, slaves, even some what women. What the are you saying? Baron's quarters are probably at the top. Uh, uh, a penthouse, that's the word. Go. Get over here. Go around them stinkers and just get to the next floor. And the boss hates stench. Don't you fucking catch it from him. Come on, why the fuck does he take so long? You could do it with your eyes closed, I know that. Will you stop bugging me? I'm making something for the boss hey, here. Go. You're not supposed to be here. Thank you. So if you don't like something, take it up to him. He didn't have to cut in the line before you after all. <laughs> well, look. I can't really live without my flamer. I'll get you some parts. You finish it in time for the raid, I'll give you half my loot. Deal? I'd rather have a woman. <laughs> Deal. Why master not why? Well, you just come back first thing in the morning then. And find me a young one, but with some meat on them bones. Thanks. Just you take a fucking look at the beauty Vint is making for the boss. It's not just any old sort of wheels, I tell you. Of course, we only get to look at it. <sighs> shit. You fucking blind or what? Fix that shit! Well, you just fucking pull it! 
Put your back into it. Why the fuck did we feed you yesterday? Fucking shit! Before he sets us all on fire! That one sure got fired over his stupidity! Fuck me, are they dumb? Third one is weak to bring dead bastards. What the fuck am I going to tell Castle now? I ran out of your tribals, give me some more? The fucking dumbasses, now I have to do it all night. That's where the tribals are kept. If you wanna join them? Can arrange that. <laughs> Water, food, your every fucking need served. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, master. I'm your slave. It was not on purpose. Shut up! I'll teach you how to serve now! I'm sorry, master. D don't teach, please! Shut the fuck up! Mm. I run you from Baldy Fan Square. Whatever I say is the law for you. Come on, what's taking so long? Come over here already. See that the fucking whore? Well, you got to fucking educate them or else they just get out of control. Look, it's one of those new arrivals. Come to lick the boss heels. What's the hold up? I'm almost done. Just a little bit left.
Is that even a dance? Hey! You barely move! Shake that ass! Hey, pretty boy. Did you come from afar? Now find me after you talk to the Baron. I won't disappoint. You won't find a girl like me in any city. You're the one to see the boss? Come on in. Don't waste boss time here! Did you expect a different reception? <laughs> Alter your weapon. Here we can talk without the masks. I trust everyone present. You find it weird, they're not really 
bothered by your little mischief. Well, you see, this world is a harsh and chaotic one. I'm just doing my best to introduce a little order into it. Without which there is no hope for something better in the future. But with no hope, you can't live. But let us cut to the chase. You definitely did not come here to enjoy the scenery. Ergo, you have a goal. And that goal is probably far from here. I respect people with their purpose in life. So, I am ready to provide you with fuel for your journey. I'm not asking for much in return. Surrender Gyul to me. Bring her to me, and we all win. I have Gyul. You will have your fuel. Everyone gets to live long and prosper. Now. Gyul herself has come for you. and open the door for you. Hold on.
I've opened the door for you. Hold on. Where are you going, you windbag? There you are! Fight a bullet! <laughs> oh, visual on the enemy! And open the door for you. Hold on. Where are you going, you windbag? There you are. Fight <laughs> 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 And open the door for you. Hold on. Where are you going, you windbag? There you are! And open the door for you. Hold on. Where are you going, you windbag? There you are! Bite the bullet! And open the door for you. Hold on. Where are you going, you windbag? There you are! Bite the bullet!
and open the door for you. Hold on. Where are you going, you windbag? There you are! Bite a bullet! And open the door for you. Hold on. Where are you going, you windbag? There you are! Find a bullet! and open the door for you. Hold on. <laughs> Where are you going, you windbag? There you are! Bite a bullet! and open the door for you. Hold on.
and open the door for you. Hold on. and open the door for you. Hold on. and open the door for you. Hold on.
gave my people hope. I'll never forget it. But this war has only started for me, and I must see it to the end. The winning end. Artyom, your dream led us here, but it won't help my people. This war is mine now, too. Go, Artyom. Follow your dream. So worried.
Fanatics on the banks of Volga, cannibals in the mountain bunker, slavers on the shores of the dried out sea. How many monsters has the war given rise to? Or perhaps, were they always there? And the war simply gave them a chance to show themselves and now we're stuck with them forever. Will Damir, who stayed in the desert to help Kyul lead their people to freedom, beat another monster? The inertia of thought that had been keeping the subjugated locals in willing and ready servitude to tyrants? Frankly, I have doubts. That monster might prove stronger than all the others. Regardless, we can't afford to lose hope. We're getting ever closer to our dream. Finding a place where we could live, free from radiation and mutants. The maps we recovered in the desert have provided us with several promising options. And now the crew members are excitedly waiting for the Colonel's decision on where the Aurora should go next. Currently, though, the train is calmly rolling eastward. The crew rests, and Stepan proposed to Katya. It was a proposal she couldn't refuse. Sands long ago, and it still persists. <clears throat> what does Crest even smoke? <laughs> it's terrible. In any case, I'm better now. I hate to interrupt, guys, but uh, you should come to the mess hall. The table is almost served. Thanks, Stepan. We'll be there in a moment. Shall we go, Artyom? Or shall we stay a little longer? It's so nice. You know, Artyom, I've been looking at Stepan and Katya, you and me, and thinking how lucky we are. It was so different with my parents. It was bad. Did I ever tell you why my mom died? Of course I didn't. It was because of Dad. He used to be even harsher back then. He used to come home from the barracks and reach for the bottle while taking off his boots. They'd quarrel, and then he'd stop appearing for a time. And while he was away, she'd start drinking too, and crying when she was sober. She'd feel better would get kind of dreamy when drunk. You know how she used to call me? Just A. She'd hug me and say, One day, A, you and I are going to go to Vladivostok, the city I was born in. And from there, to a village on the ocean shore. I was five back then and didn't really get much. But I could imagine that village and the ocean so vividly, because I believed her. And then she killed herself, drank some kind of poison. Father quit drinking after Mom's death. Didn't ever pay much attention to me, but with her gone, he'd never leave me alone. Took me along everywhere. We only talked about her a couple of times, though. I used to have this doll, Jana. I played make-believe that she was my daughter, and we went to the ocean together. Then, my father hid it, told me it got lost. He probably didn't want me to agonize over Mom's dream. Then I imagine she grew up and went to Vladivostok. 
And now I'm going. Not to Vladivostok, but with you. The dream came true. By the way, I was always intrigued by what Dad dreams about. He should have some dreams, but what are they? Higher rank? He could choose any. Saving people? What would the saved do next? Sit underground? I never understood him. What does he hope for in life? What makes him happy? Nothing, perhaps. He never really had any time to think about tomorrow. Down in the metro, those thoughts don't come casually. Here on the surface, though. I, for one, have something I want to do. I want to run through the sand barefoot. Build a sand castle for the kids. I'm imagining two. A boy and a girl. The boy would be a copy of you. We'd go swimming with mountains behind us. Wooden houses on the shore. The sun would wake us up every day, rising from the ocean. That harbor is our destination. Worth going there even if we have half the world to cross. Everyone should have a destination. A point on the map where they aspire to go, and where one could finally be happy. All our guys have their own. Duke used to have one. Damir, another. We broke out of the metro and are now starting to scatter. Not at once, of course. At first, we're all still running together, searching. But eventually, each of us will find a point like this and stay there. I don't know where my dad's destination is. Don't know where yours is either. But I know I love you a whole lot. Go, Artyom. I'll rest some more and join you later. Now we can talk here and nobody will know. 
Yes, we can. So, what was that you wanted to talk about? You hear about that meet? Yes? I have. Not that I've invited. I'll just stay here and wait for one of the two bosses to come hire me and my boys. How about you? Me too, me too. My people, they want some action and fat payout. And this is chance by the Holy Flame. And here, what I want to talk about. How about we work together? Ah, good thinking. I don't want to fight you anymore. <laughs> I don't want to fight you too. That knee still hurts. So, what you say, old friend? I'm in. We need to talk in person, though. A good deal likes privacy. Even though this frequency seems secure. Yes, I understand. Let us meet tomorrow. At the old restaurant, what you say? Huh? Deal. See you there, Abbas. Over and out. Rachmet, my friend. Over and out. Thank you. 